hey, so let's say you've built this great Node.js application uh, on your machine, and lots of people are saying, how do I deploy this thing to production, and how do I do it the right way? So we're going to cover this in three videos. This video right here is just kind of a prerequisite for people who don't know about DigitalOcean. And then in the next video, we're going to cover how to provision that server and do an automated deployment strategy. And then in our next video, we're going to show you how to make that deployment just a little bit more stable. So let's get into it. The first thing we need to do is spin up a server just for our app. My favorite for this is DigitalOcean. Uh, there's Amazon Web Services. They're totally fine. Heroku is great. Um, Heroku starts off actually a little easier, but it gets more expensive, much more expensive over time. Um, and let's see, there's Rackspace, although Rackspace has given my company a lot of problems over the years, so I don't super recommend Rackspace, uh, just based off of my personal experience. I love DigitalOcean, though. I have not had any problems with DigitalOcean, so I will show you this. Basically, they call their servers droplets, so I can just create a server. Um, and let's name it something, test node app. And then you select a size. I'm going to pick the one that's only $5 a month or less than a penny an hour. So I'm going to destroy this once I'm done with our tutorials. And it will only have cost me one penny to show you. Um, and then you can see it's uh, there's the stats on what kind of machine I'm getting. I'm going to base it out of San Francisco. I'm going to pick Ubuntu, which is what I like to use for Linux. Although I'm actually going to go to applications and I'm going to come get a, an Ubuntu image that has Node pre-installed. So that way you don't have to install Node.js. Hit create droplet, and within 60 seconds, it'll make it for me. I should get an email now. Hey, there you go. There's my email. It is just spun up. It's actually actually a virtual machine that has all the processing power. In reality, to me, it might as well be a real machine on the Internet that's plugged in. Um, and so now I can SSH into it, and I have full access. This is a dedicated IP address to my machine, so I can get a domain name. And I can go to their DNS and I can have my domain name point to this machine and that will act as my website. So kind of for those of you guys who are not familiar with what's the difference between DigitalOcean and a web host, like say HostGator, I have a website there, uh, which is what I tell people to use for websites. The difference is, is you're managing your own server start to finish. You own it, you can destroy it, you can blow it up, you can install anything you want on it. Uh, you cannot run Node.js on most web uh, web hosts. They are set up usually for PHP, and what they'll allow you to do is own a portion of a machine, uh, but they maintain the machine for you, and you have a limited set of um, you have a limited set of privileges. And what's great about that is they've installed the machine, set it up to do email. You can host your own email there. You can spin up WordPress sites really quickly. You can add websites really quickly. So that's really great for websites and PHP applications. When you're getting into Node.js applications, things where you have to customize the server, that's really kind of when you need to learn your own server administration skills. It's not that hard. It's not an impossible world, but you do need to learn it at some point. So there you go. It's been created. Um, and DigitalOcean is running this promo where if you click on my link, you get $10 off and I get $25 off. So, hey, if you're going to use DigitalOcean, use it. Uh, you'll get money. I'll get money. We all are happy with each other. But no worries if you don't. I'm using it regardless and let's get into the next video where we provision this server and set up automated deployment for our Node.js app.